mountain biking and bike packing, the things your dreams are made of. It's what we live for. But what if you want more? What if you want to travel the world? Deep Blue Dirt, a sailboat expedition to allow us to ride the entire planet. To be honest, I can't believe that we're doing it. Like, it really does feel surreal. Right now, I feel super lucky, super excited, and really nervous um, because our life is about to turn into 24 7 adventure. You are joining us right at the beginning on a riverbank in the Norfolk Broads, England. No electric, no water, and completely off grid. This was our houseboat. Living on her is what made the dream possible. Saving up and proving life with bikes on board works. With not long left, the excitement and nerves are building, with the travel, our channel, and the riding starting to become a reality. There is literally only Chris's bike to build, then it's time to get riding. You know, when you ride, you meet people who are like fellow mountain bikers or fellow cyclists of any type. We've all got something in common, and it's one thing finding a trail, but it's another thing finding the locals that built that trail. And for me, to travel around and, and just find these cool places, but not only that, but find the people that take us to them, that, I suppose, you ain't much without people, are you, really? Supposed to get to the stage where we're ready to set off. It, you know, it's taken us since about four years. Like, you know, we had to learn to sail and 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 then just actually to try and plan it, it's been ridiculous. And then, yeah, it's been a long, long haul. That's for sure. <laughs> but we're there now. It's so close. It's just like the length of that cable. It's just about right, but not quite. The fact that we are going to be amongst the elements, whether it's on the boat or um, on the bikes, bike packing, we're going to have quite an in-depth testing field. Unknown conditions, being self-sufficient, you know, it's the extent of like being in a foreign country, you're really relying on your gear and between us, with the experience that we've both got in product testing, I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to provide a really sound review for, for other users and we really look forward to doing that. In five days time we'll have tested the bikes and be in the Mediterranean where this channel starts. Travelling by sailboat and mountain bike, there's not many places we can't go and it's the people we meet that will define our tracks. I'm just going by which routes, it's essence. Just riding bikes. Because it's good for your heart, good for your soul. <laughs> I'm under no illusions that we're going to find trails from, from the anchorages that we find, because it's quite hard to come by a good anchorage, a safe anchorage. Um, but you know, accessing the public transport or the local rail line, cycling through the hustle bustle of the town, to get up over the passes into the trails, that's like definitely part of the adventure for us. The fact that we're taking mountain bikes with us and doing lightweight bike packing just makes you that bit more nimble. We hope there'll just be no limits. Let's get riding.
The bike test didn't go too well. Turns out that uh, 61, 62 degree head on was a little too slack. And uh, took a bit of a roly poly. So it turns out Chris has a broken neck, a fracture of his C2 vertebrae. Not the best start. Join us next time as we leave the UK, start some boat work in Spain, and I finally get to ride the Sierra Nevada.